join the Hell Divers. Become part of an elite peacekeeping force. See exotic new life forms. Hell Divers 2, the most popular grossing game of 2024, dies at the hands of its own creators. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about something a little different today. One of my favorite games, Hell Divers 2, recently fell into a bit of controversy. The launch of Hell Divers 2 was very promising with skyrocketing numbers. They literally had to double their server capacity twice. Unfortunately, though, the game is slowly becoming soulless corporate trash, and nobody seems to know why. A few weeks back, the former CEO Pilstedt stated he will be stepping down to work directly with the dev team to reduce development growing pains. But as of now, nothing has really changed except the same corporate jargon from the dev team. Their best updates seem to be on X, inventing new excuses at every turn. It's truly astonishing how every time there's controversy, the devs keep dodging accountability. As of recently, the devs thought it was a good idea to nerf popular guns in a PvE game because I quote, players were using it too much. No crap they're using it too much because no other weapon in the game can effectively kill anything. The primary weapon is supposed to be the backbone of every Helldiver, not a damn airsoft gun from Disney World. On top of that, the flamethrowers got a nerf making them useless against chargers. The dev team said it's not realistic for flamethrowers to do damage to armored targets. I guess it's rare for people to understand basic conductivity nowadays. In World War 1 and 2, soldiers would use Molotovs and flamethrowers to cook enemy tank crews from the inside out, basically turning a tank into a 20-ton oven. You're telling me an organic being is immune to 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit and wouldn't be cooked like an alien kebab? You're the one taking realism out of your own game. With these examples, I think it's pretty clear Arrowhead is not firing on all cylinders. I really hope they can revert these changes and just buff crap guns like the community wants, because then every gun is viable. Metas will be broken and the players will come back. It's really that easy. And if you don't believe me, just do it for a week. I guarantee you the player numbers will be doubled. At the end of the day, Helldivers 2 is a game. People play games to have fun, especially in a PvE game. A lot of reloading, dodging, might make for some good realistic gameplay, but Helldivers is a horde shooter. If you can't just sit there and mow crap down with the boys, then you might have balanced the wrong aspects of the game. The community literally wants the automatons to invade Super Earth. If you want to make a change, the time would be now. At the end of the day, the community just wants to play the game they fell in love with. We will be waiting and eager for the correction that this game deserves. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and peace out. God bless.